Yes, Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, they did you wrong. They lied on you and they cost you to lose out on a lot of different opportunities and they cost you to lose out on some money. With that being said, that husband daddy of yours, manager daddy, husband, and all the other roles that he plays for you, yeah, that's a conflict of interest. And your career has gone down ever since you got with that nigga. Club Shay Shay interview that she did where she states that she prays to the universe in regards to reconciling our relationship as I stated um, is odd. Uh, my mother and I both know that that is a very false narrative and I would like to free her of having to continue telling that lie. Hello, 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 my beautiful stones and gems. Thank you for clicking this video and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Miss Mama Medusa, and this is the Medusa Show. Hi. Um, listen, if it's your first time clicking this video, welcome, welcome. Make sure you click a, the subscribe button, child. Welcome to the Messy Mafia, the Medusa Squad, the Stone Squad. Okay, y'all, let's get into it. So y'all see the title. We are here to talk about... Miss Messy Mama Monique herself, child. Her, cause her sweet, beautiful baby, her real, actual baby has come forward and he, you know, pretty much is calling a thing a thing. And I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts that I wanted to share with the people. And yeah, let's just get into it. It's just so funny. It's just, it's just, it's funny, honestly. Like this whole situation is really funny. It's like, you or maybe funny might not be the best word, but it's 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 ironic, you know. You you go on this whole rant, this rant that you've been going on for the last ten plus years, talking about the same thing about taking accountability and when you do something wrong, you need to be held accountable. And hey, if I did somebody wrong, I would want to know that I did them wrong, and I would want to be held accountable too. And all this other bullshit, you know, all this all this stuff, all this bull jive, child. Everything that you said in that interview could be said about you when it comes to your son. Like, everything that you said about Oprah Winfrey also applies to your child, which is crazy. Like, in regards to you just uh, uh, refusing to take accountability, you know, and I, I can relate to that. I'm gonna I'm be honest, though. I really do think it's a generational thing. With Gen X, I realized that, like, they feel like them being held accountable, they feel like that is disrespect. They feel like, how dare you call me to the forefront? How dare you call me out on my shit? How dare... You know, even when you do it respectfully, just the fact that you called them out and held them accountable they feel like you are disrespecting them like they they know they're wrong and you know it is it's, it's one of those things where it's just it is what it is and that that that's just that doesn't work with 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 my generation you know gen gen uh what is it gen millennials and like gen z cuspers and like myself we we're not going for that <laughs> you know what i'm saying we're not going for that and hell even some gen x's as well like no bitch like wrong is wrong when it's wrong it's wrong and you know I just think it's interesting like I think that these conversations definitely do need to be had I I, ha I hate that it's being had publicly um I hate that you know I hate that for both of them but I'm glad that you know I'm glad that he's you know um Talon is Shalon I think it's Shalon I'm glad that he's telling his story I'm always gonna side with the child I am I don't give a f what I because at the end of the day the child did not ask to be here you made a decision. You had a decision. Nobody asked to be here, and, and ain't nobody asked to have you as parents. And that's what it, they, that's the thing. It's like you gotta ask yourself, like you know, especially now that I am a mom. I ask myself, like I wonder, like I wonder, like if my child had a choice, would he choose me as to be his mother? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I mean, now obviously he has no choice, but you know that's 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 how because that's really how you measure whether or not you're a good parent or not. When the, it's not about what, whether you put cl clothes and all them and fed them and kept a roof over their head. That's a that's that's the standard. <laughs> like that's and that's and that's another thing with that damn generation. They want to be rewarded for the for for doing what the f they're supposed to do. They want a, they want recognition for feeding and clothing and 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 all of that shit. And it's like, but but when it counts, when it comes to like nurturing or just uh, all the other things that is needed, like that's needed to 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 raise a child. Um, you know, that's when, like, all of that is, like, up for debate. I noticed that a lot with that generation. Um, and again, I, I, I want to be clear. Um, this is not me just 
coming down on Gen X or older, the older generation. I want to be clear. I'm just sharing my thoughts as as a millennial uh, Gen Z cusper, you know, as someone who was raised by that generation. I can relate to a lot of the things that, you know, old boy was saying. Now, listen, one thing about me, I'm going to play devil's advocate, okay? <laughs> We're going to play both sides. I'm going to play both sides of the fence. Uh, Mr. Mr. Shalon, Shalon Lon, baby, I'm not going to lie, you looking like a bomb. <laughs> I have a gift, I have a gift, I can tell when a nigga ain't got no money, and I can just tell that you ain't got no money, baby, like you look, you look like you've been going through it, just by your background, it's not even your clothes, it's just, it's just, you look really bummy, and then, and then in the video when he was like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm healthy, I think for the most part, I drink a lot of water, what are you talking about? What the mean you think you're healthy if you don't take your ass to the doctor this is shit that black men be doing that be getting on my nerves and quiet as is kept no tino shade that's a lie a lot of y'all are not making it past 65 another conversation for another day it's all generational it all goes back to the, the generation that raised them so whatever whatever generation that came before them you know that's what it all goes back to but um i don't know i just feel like millennials we are a lot more intentional with how we raise our kids and like we um, a lot of us are really f***ed up by our parents. I mean, most people are f***ed up by their parents. It don't matter what generation you are. Let's be fucking for real. Like, you know, and I, it's, it's, that's just the world that we live in. We live in a f***ed up world, so it's fair for us to be messed up when it comes to our parents. With that being said, um, I think that, again, like millennials, a lot of us, we take... We're just very intentional when it comes to our, our parenting. We have a very intentional... Um, hands-on parenting style and approach and so when you adopt that parenting style and then you look back and reflect on you know the parenting style that your parents had <laughs> and you see that it's like pretty much the polar opposite and you just you know just it just makes you question like what well, you know it just it just it... and like he said and you know I, I there was the things that he that I that he said that I appreciated I'm gonna say this that boy is hurting that boy is hurting. And, you know, um, Monique, I, now, now I got to drag you a little bit. You full of shit and your, your child pulled your f***ing card. Like, first of all, bitch, you need, just like you, you, you give me one of them, them mamas, okay? You give me one of them Gen X mamas. But I mean, I mean, I don't even take, put generation in it. You give me one of them mamas that gaslight the out of your kids it's a good thing that you don't have daughters you got that dr jackie thing going on where the lord know the lord knew not to give you a little girl um and, and, I, and I, I don't know what your you know because i don't know if you ever had any like you know if you have any rainbow babies or anything like that i don't know all your all your tea because i mean quiet as it's kept all you do is talk about oprah and tyler anyway When's the last, I, I googled you to see when's the last time you released like a book or something you ain't released a book since 08 all this been going on since oh wait i would have thought that you would have at least re released a tell all by now bitch the, the f you did that horrible ass netflix special got up there and just was carrying on and the cussing and this that and the third don't nobody want to see that don't nobody want to pay millions and millions of dollars to see that you could call yourself legendary all the f one where i don't i you don't you it's not get, it, come on and i'm sorry two things can remain true at the same time yes Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey they did you wrong they lied on you and they cost you to lose out on a lot of different opportunities and they cost you to lose out on some money with that being said bitch that husband daddy of yours manager daddy husband and all the other roles that he plays for you yeah that's a conflict of interest and your career has gone down ever since you got with that what are you like the, the two things can remain true at the same fucking time he's not doing a, a good job with managing you now I get it I get it Hollywood is a, is a mother is a mother tucker okay especially when it comes to black women fat black dark skinned women especially come on you know I get that but I'm saying like who I mean girl you got your husband being your representation and you call him daddy and you really expect for people to take him fucking seriously be fucking for real like <laughs> like like seriously, like Monique, Monique, and then and then and why the fuck is he even speaking? Why is Uncle whatever the fuck? Why is he speaking for you in response to your child? That's between you and your child. I I I, I just that's not even his place to talk about this. He didn't say nothing. I mean, I, I guess he did say some things about Daddy and this, that, and the third. That's another thing, Monique. You know, this relationship that you have with your husband, it truly is inappropriate. You know, you know, 
it's one thing to call your husband daddy when you're playing around and, and you know, or even, because, I mean, he is the daddy. He is the father of the of the kids, so te he is daddy, like, you know what I'm saying? That's not, but it's different when you call him, you know, daddy, and like, and you go, I I, I just say, I think it's one thing when you call your, 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 your husband or whatever, daddy, like, in the privacy of your bed, in the privacy of your home, but that's another whole, it's a whole, another whole can of worms when you referring to him daddy in, like, business meetings and you know all kinds of things. I, well, you know I don't. I don't know. Let me not make assumptions, but or at least at the bare minimum in public, I just I can't take you seriously. That's that's the same thing when when it comes to Doctor Heavenly. <laughs> daddy, daddy. It's just like it's really child. It's just it's really weird. I'm telling you, it's really weird how you 50 plus year old women, you know, revert to childlike um, and little girl like um, mannerisms and behaviors. When you 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 when you're in your fifties, when it comes to these men, how you reduce yourself, hmm, hmm, how you think so little of yourself that you reduce yourself to a child and a little girl in your fifties. You going through menopause and all kinds of shit in your fifties, acting like a little girl, and you expect for people to take you seriously, daddy, daddy, girl, stop. Well, they grow the fuck up, <laughs> like. It's just crazy to me, like, it, it, like the way you want for the way you want for uh, 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 your son to get the fuck over it, bitch. I feel like we feel the same way about Tyler and Oprah, bitch. Get the fuck over it. Build a bridge and get the fuck over it. I was about to say your big ass need to get up on it. It's like, no, nah, that that was it. Type like the the, the jokes, the fat jokes write themselves, bitch. And, and quiet as kept. That's nothing. Stop with the goddamn fat jokes. The fat jokes. I, I swear, now that fat jokes aren't funny, yo ass ain't funny no more. Quiet as kept. It makes me wonder were you ever funny? Were you ever really funny to begin with? I feel like you just got to the joke first. You you made yourself the joke. You knew that we were gonna make jokes about you being fat and black, and so you just got to the joke first. All your jokes were rooted in anti-blackness, if you really think about it. So, no, I'm just playing. Now, Monique had her funny moment. I'm telling you, the funniest thing she ever said was when she uh, got Club Shay Shay together, child, and called him out. That's another thing, girl. And now, girl, let me tell you something. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I, girl. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say this. I would never take marital advice from a bitch like Monique. Let me let me say, I, I, would, I would never take marital advice from somebody. Let me not call her a bitch. I would never take marital advice from a woman like Monique. Um, you know, the, I, I'm sorry, I even just, just, this Gen X, just, just, if they in that, if they in that Gen X, just throw that whole generation away. I'm not, uh, in, in regards to their relationship advice. In regards to relationship advice, they, they, they really, I, I, they couldn't, they couldn't advise me to do shit. I'm telling you. Um, um, Monique, um, uh, Wendy Williams, all them women, like the way they, the way they reduce themselves. Well, uh, with Dr. Heavenly, the way they reduce themselves, the way they reduce themselves and make them so, make themselves so small to make a man feel big. It's, it's sick. It's something that needs to be studied. Um, over here, you know, you over here talking about, you know, my daddy, my, my husband, daddy, he raised me. I call him daddy cause he raised me even though y'all met when y'all was in your forties. What are you talking about? Um, big grown woman. Um, then you then you talk about or maybe late thirties or thirty eight how old you were then then you talk about Shannon. That's another thing. There's one thing. There's one thing that you said during that goddamn club Shay Shay interview with that grown ass fifty plus year old man calling himself mother Shay Shay. Girl, I can't stand Shannon Sharp. Let me tell you something. It's something. That, uh, listen. It's something that you said during that interview that really pissed me off. You said something along the lines of like, you know, oh, uh, you know, Shannon. You know, Shannon's kids is black. They black, black. You know, Shannon. Shannon has said something about, you know, I have black kids. And you talked about him dibbling, dabbling with white women. And you were like, saying something along the lines of like, you know, um, you know, yeah, he might go across the street once in a while. But he always going to come back. Listen, Monique, that's you and y'all generation. Y'all generation is always, y'all always pick that pick me ass shit. Uh, I'm, I'm always going to be here for you when you come back. No, we're not doing that no more. Bitch, if you want to go over there and be with them white women so badly, that's fine. Ain't nobody stopping you. We're not protesting. We're not. We, we not hell, hell hell some of us packing up your shit and getting your sorry ass the fuck up out of here as far as, as, as okay as and as far as we concerned because as far as we're concerned a lot of y'all are useless anyway <laughs> we really we really are <laughs> a lot better off without y'all a white woman can have your sorry ass but with that being said listen i'm, I'm sorry i'm not we, uh, i can't speak for my entire generation i know that you know my beliefs are a little more radical but i i don't if, if, a, if a black man goes over there to the other side there is as far as i'm concerned there should be no safe space for him to bring his ass the fuck back okay we don't want him i don't want i'm tired i'm tired of us 
um, rewarding disloyalty. And that's quiet as it's kept. That's exactly why they feel so comfortable with, with going over there. Because they know that they can always come back to the black woman. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that anymore. And, and, and quiet as it's kept. Look at it. And, 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 and <laughs> when it comes to the black men that you got. I think we're better off adopting my logic as opposed to adopting yours. We don't, we don't, uh, so we don't nobody want to be calling their husband daddy and all kinds of dumb shit. Like, girl, like, like you over here talking about, you know, if you had a husband like mine, bitch, if you had a good husband, he would have got you under some proper management. He would have had you with some proper deals and, and sponsorships and some more shit, some real projects. So your ass wouldn't have to go live on Instagram on that non-monetized ass platform to talk about bull. Stop. Like, the fuck? You, he's not. I'm talking about somebody who's a content creator. Like, I, I, I can see that. And who's in, who's in, who's searching for a manager at the moment? I'm not there yet, but I'm, I'm getting there, bitch. Okay? We're getting there. Um, yeah, you bitch, I wouldn't let you manage, manage me to hell. I wouldn't let you manage a goddamn, uh, 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 uh fucking toenail on, on, a toenail paint on my goddamn feet, bitch. That's how much I wouldn't, I wouldn't let you manage shit. I wouldn't let that man, he, he looks as fucking, he looks, let me stop, because I was about to say something ableist, and I'm, I'm, I'm not there no more. We his saucy self. He not even sassy, bitch, he's saucy. Your husband is real delicate, and you know, that's, that's the sad part, you over here submitting to this, submitting to this soft ass man. Girl, Monique, I just, oh, Lord, I, I just, Monique, you, 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 the jokes write themselves, you know, and that's honestly, that's, this is, it all makes sense, everything, and, and you know what, you know, after seeing your, that tired ass response to your son, and after seeing how you gaslit him in the video, and pretty much personify everything that he talked about, like everything, you're a walking embodiment of everything that's ever been said about you. You know, and like, so when people say that you're difficult, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Now, granted, let's be very clear, black women, especially black women that look like Monique, we are often, you, you know, categorized as, you know, difficult, bitter, angry, and all these other things. These are, you, these buzzwords are typically used to our demise. You know, that is, it's very easy um, it's, these are microaggressive terminologies that are used to oppress and silence the black woman. I want to be very clear about that. With that being said, Monique, you know, it, it's just so funny. It's so, I mean, it's just with that, with, but with that being said, Monique, I'm sorry. Like based on the, you know, based on the things that we've heard, like, I believe it. I don't believe that you're the easiest person to work with. I, I believe, you know, with Monique, you know, I don't want to say she's difficult, but and, you know, it says a lot about your character. It speaks volumes to your character when your child don't fuck with you. When you don't have a, a, a good relationship with your child. When your child is grown and in their 30s and they, and they, and they you know, because usually it's one, it's one thing when they're in their teens. We all had that rebellious stage and we all hated our parents when we were in our teens. But I think it's another thing when they, in they you know, mid-20s and late 30s, and mid to late 30s, 20s and 30s, and they, you know... You know, and they and they still feel the same way and still like maintain this notion that they don't want to be around you and they don't want you around their children. That that that's a big red flag. And that's why I, I think it's kind of crazy when y'all begin into relationships with these with these men and women too, like Monique, but uh, but both stand, but with these men especially who have you know strained relationships with their children. I don't get it. You know, with like with light skin Keisha, there's so many women that you know they be talking. You know, you you're, 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 the father of your child has not seen their child in months months to years and you and you're perfectly fine with that you want to have kids it's so weird it's like how how do you expect this person to successfully sustain a healthy relationship with you if they're not able to sustain successfully sustain a healthy relationship with their own damn kid with the person that with the with the person that's a literal um walking embodiment of them a, a little a literal part of them it doesn't make any sense like Y'all niggas is weird. If you have a relationship with somebody that has a strained relationship with their child, you're a fucking weirdo. You big, it's giving big weird energy. I can't stand that evil stepmom, evil stepdad archetype. You, you stepmoms, like, and, and, and shout outs to the stepmom, shout outs to the, uh, shout outs to the stepdads, because I feel like stepdads don't get enough credit. You know, shout outs to the real ones. And, I, and like, this is not me shitting on actual stepmoms and shit, but you, and step parents. But some of you, I'm talking about the step parents to, to parents. I'm talking about the step parents to 
children who have strained relationship with their with the people that they're married to, yeah, it's a special place in hell for people like you. It really is. You're fucking weird. You're a fucking weirdo. I, I can never have, I <laughs> wish the fuck I would, have a child and create a family with somebody that was, that had a broken family and created a broken family with somebody to fuck else. And some of you trifling hoes be having babies with niggas that be having multiple uh, single parent households. Then created four, five uh, <laughs> single parent households. Got about four, five baby mamas. And you still willing to be the fifth and sixth in line. You a dumb bitch. But I, I, I'm over here projecting. <laughs> ooh, I'm over here spilling. Oh, let me take it back. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, what was I talking about, girl? I just, I could, girl, I, when I tell you I could talk about this shit all day and all night, 